Streetlights are all around us. You may have wondered why they are so different in colour to lights that are used in our homes. In this video I'll be exploring why streetlights are yellow, and the science that's happening inside them. Street lamps are special in that the majority of them do not use standard filament bulbs or LEDs like you find in your house. In fact, street lamps are a type of sodium lamp, which were invented in 1920 by Arthur Compton. Their basic structure requires an evacuated arc tube containing a mixture of xenon, mercury and sodium. When the lamp needs to be lit, a pulse of voltage is applied to the arc tube, which sends an arc through the xenon. This then provides the energy needed to evaporate the mercury, so that an arc travels through the mercury, which in turn vaporises the sodium, so that the arc travels through the vaporised sodium. It's this arc travelling through the sodium that allows high pressure sodium lamps to give off light, but in order to understand the colour of it, we first need to look at sodium on the quantum level. All matter is made up of atoms, which are in turn made up of a core nucleus, containing neutrons and positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons which surround the nucleus. If you give an atom enough energy, this energy can be absorbed by an electron, which jumps from a lower energy level to a higher energy level. Think of it like pulling two magnets apart. You have to put energy in to move them away from each other. This electron can fall back down to a lower energy level, and in turn releases energy in the form of a photon, which is a particle of light. What's special about this light, though, is that because the energy released by an electron in this process is the same each time, the photon always has the same energy, and since energy and frequency are proportional, the same colour of light is emitted each time. This gives rise to one particular colour of light, and it's this effect which you are observing when you see a yellow street lamp. The energy released by those electrons gives rise to light of frequency equating to yellow light. This phenomenon is one which has been observed and utilised by scientists for many different applications, including determining the composition of the sun, more on that in a future video. So don't forget when you see street lamps that they're more than just a bulb on a pole, there is some cool physics underpinning their nature. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any content like this, and if you're curious as to why the moon turns red during a lunar eclipse, click here to see a video on just that subject.